in a world full of fire TV sticks, one man reviews it all. <laughs> <laughs> Fire TV Stick is one of the most widely used smart accessory in the market, with approximately 35% of the share of streaming platforms. We came about some best tips and tricks that could make the best of your Fire TV if you care about that sort of stuff. Here are some of them. YouTube is officially not available on Fire TV Stick, but since it technically runs on Android, there's a workaround for it. The Fire TV Stick still has YouTube.com icon. Download either one of these applications and you're good to go. Now, whenever you tap on YouTube.com, it'll redirect you to the YouTube for TV interface, by which you can play your YouTube videos easily. You can even sign in and sync your YouTube data as well. Listening to TV audio might be tricky sometimes, although we have plenty of choices to choose from, like we've mentioned before in one of our previous videos. Smart devices like the Fire TV Stick allows you to use your favorite Bluetooth headphones and Bluetooth speakers. So navigate to settings, and then controllers and Bluetooth devices, and then other Bluetooth devices. Now select the Bluetooth device that you want to connect to, and there you go. Fire TV Stick has OTG functionality, but it is one of those features that is never promoted by the company itself. You can access the OTG function by using a hardware designed for it. This $5 cable lets you use an OTG with Fire TV. It has a male micro USB jack at one end and a female micro USB at the other end, and a Type A one as well. You just have to connect the male end to the Fire TV Stick and insert the power cable in the female micro USB jack which will act as a power source. Once everything is set, you can insert a USB thumb drive in the Type-A slot or further increase the capacity by adding a USB hub and then insert a thumb drive. You'll be able to see the thumb drive in your file explorer. One super handy feature of Fire TV Stick is that you can hold down the home button for 5 seconds while on the home screen and have a quick access to settings and use the sleep command to put your device to sleep. Just like the previous one, you can long press the home button and then choose the mirroring option to access the mirroring window of Fire TV Stick. Use the screen mirror option on your Android mobile to search for Fire TV and then hit connect. Once you do that, you'll see that the phone is being mirrored on the big screen. Although this is not the best mirroring experience that I have, but it sure can let you view those vacation pictures for your fam while chilling together. When it comes to typing on Fire TV Stick, only one word comes into mind, pain. Navigating through a huge on-screen keyboard with the huge keys is a really tough thing to do. Thankfully, there's a workaround. Just download the Fire TV remote app from Play Store or Apple Store and then sign in with the same Amazon account as the Fire Stick. This also comes in handy if you checked into a hotel today, but you forgot your remote at home. You need two smartphones for that. One that will act as a remote and a second one that will recreate your home Wi-Fi network and its password. All the apps that you install on Firestick are under a single good with the name All Apps and Games. This can be handy and confusing at the same time depending on the amount of apps one would install. If you install a lot of apps, there might be times where your favorite apps appear to be shifting downwards. Select the app that you want to move and press the menu button and then choose move. Now you can move the app anywhere you like. Google isn't on the best terms with Amazon, and that's why there's no official YouTube app on the Fire TV Stick. But Play Store isn't the only one that has apps. There are other stores too, in fact. Amazon has its own, but the best one according to me is Aptoid TV. Aptoid TV has plenty of apps, 
Although the thing to note here is that it does have some illegal movie streaming apps as well, but we won't be discussing about them in this video or any other video. Once you open Aptoid, just like a normal app store, you'll find apps under different categories and you can download them according to your choice. The best part of this app is that you can auto update your existing apps, so go and download Aptoid TV on your Fire Stack. Firestick Remote lets you toggle just four sides up, down, left and right. But what if you want to install Chrome on it to access the internet? Since it's an Android based device, installation shouldn't be a hassle, but you can't properly use the app with the Fire TV Remote for these apps, which were originally made for Android Maple. To solve this problem, there's an app called Mouse Toggle for the Fire TV, which lets you convert normal navigation to something more precise by just adding a pointer. Just install the app from the link in the description below and then start the service. Once installed, press the play button twice and then you'll see a dot which can be used to mouse toggle. So those were some of the best tips and tricks that we found were awesome. Let us know in the comment section below which ones you end up using. Also check out SmartDNS Proxy if you're keen to unblock geo-restricted content on streaming sites like Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, Amazon Prime Video, there's plenty of those. It's got a foot into free trial and everything and after that it's only $5 a month. I'm Vamsi, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.